What happens if you just want the best value when it comes to red light therapy panels? You don't care about the manual that it comes with. You just want to know you're getting the best bang for your buck. Now, I've come up with a metric here to help figure out what panel is the best value. So what I've done is I've measured all of these panels behind me and many others, and I've determined how much power, how much radiance, how much therapeutic light energy it's emitting across the face of the panel. I do this by taking nine different readings at six inches from the panel using my spectrometer. Then I average these readings and I determine the size of the panel. Not the size on the box, but the actual distance between LEDs. Because I know from prior experiments, and I've done videos on these, that most of the energy coming from a red light therapy panel is directly in front of the LEDs. Sure, there is some light leakage, but the concentration of its energy is directly in front. So what I do then is measure the area of the LEDs, the area of the panel. Once I've got the area and the average irradiance, I can do some basic math and you come up with a total wattage figure. Now this wattage figure is different from the watts drawn from the wall, you know, when you plug it in. This is the calculated amount of light being emitted from a panel at six inches. It means a panel that may have a really high irradiance but is really thin in design may not put out as much light in the area as a more rectangular or square shaped panel. Anyway, you don't have to worry about the math or the metrics. I'll just say, just go with me here. It's not a perfect calculation, but it does give a rough idea. So what I've done is taken my 17 panels from my 24 red light therapy comparison series. And on screen, you can see the amount of watts that these are emitting at six inches. So here you can see how the panels rank. Now, block blue light, platinum LED, rouge, royo. Those panels are the four most powerful panels. And now those panels all placed in the top four as well, which is quite interesting. Uh, remember the winner was the Platinum LED Biomax. They have the second most powerful panel here. Now it's important to note that the wattage figure is different to the irradiance figure. The irradiance figure is just the amount of power at six inches. The wattage figure accounts for the area, accounts for the treatment area. That's why you're seeing some differences in the rankings here compared to the rankings in round two in my series. Anyway, so we're looking at these numbers. Block blue light at 191. The Biomax is very close at 186 watts. So these are by far the two most powerful panels. Then you're down to the Rouge Care, 165. Rojo Therapy, 150. Closely followed by Motor Red Light, 151. Then you start seeing a bit of a drop off, but there's still plenty of panels above 100 watts. Uh, all the way down the bottom, you have Gimber Red at 75 and the Bond Charge at 47. Okay, so that shows wattage, but we wanna look at value. We wanna get the most power from our money. So what I've done now is shown the discounted price next to the panel. Now I say discounted because I am affiliated with a lot of the companies that I'm mentioning here. And that means I have both a discount link and sometimes a discount code. So if you place an order for these products or these panels, uh, links are all down below, then you're gonna save, you're gonna get a discount, but I also get a commission. So I've used the discounted price because why would you not use the discounted price, right? So you can see these prices and yeah, it's sort of all over the place. We see most panels are above a thousand bucks, though there's one or two that are in the 900s. Then we see that uh, I do lighting. This is an Alibaba panel. I said the price used to be about $500. I believe it's up a little bit now, but we'll just run with 500 because that is what I have been using. It's a whole different ball game when buying the Alibaba panel. There are some headaches, so to speak. There is a potential risk yet. I've done videos on this. I'll put links to it below. Also head over to the Facebook group because I've asked the question in there with my 6,000 members, would you buy from Alibaba again? Uh, so you, if you wanna go down that route, check out the Facebook group. Anyway, now that we have the wattage figure and the price, Let's do a value calculation. So all we're gonna do here is divide the wattage figure by the discounted price. And that's gonna give us a dollar per watt figure. Pretty much this is gonna show how much money you have to spend to get one watt of therapeutic red light from that particular panel. Let's do it. Okay, so working from the bottom up, we see the Juve is the most expensive, costing nearly $21 per watt of light. This is because their panel is Firstly, very expensive, and secondly, rather underpowered. So it's a one-two com combo, which is why they last. Bond charge, no good. Uh, 
up to the infrared pro max at just over ten dollars now to be honest ten dollars is a good figure i remember a few years ago i used to say anything under 10 was was really good value um so we've got a panel here that came in 10th out of 17 that's still good value it's just that there's better so let's look at better all right here you see fifth place through to ninth so uh we're looking at seven and a half dollars up to nine dollars per watt so again great value here to be honest if value is your key objective i mean the red therapy co Rotor therapy motor red light they're all really good options but we want the best of the best so let's look at the top four now you have the alibaba panel you have the platinum led biomax you have the block blue light mega and you have the rouge care g3 pro now first things i need to mention second third and fourth all placed in the top four in my comparison series meaning those panels if you take out the ideal light lighting panel those panels are all very very good panels because that ranking in my series looked at everything it included price and power sure but it looked at stands it looked at warranty it looked at ease of use it looked at wavelengths it looked at everything all right to put that in perspective the i do lighting panel the alibaba panel which is sitting here at number one from a value point of view placed 10th in that series all right so i just say that to show that there is a big divide between that top panel and then the second third and fourth when you're looking at a dollar per wattage figure you'll see that the alibaba panel is five dollars and thirty cents really really great value but then for just over a dollar more per watt you can get the Platinum Biomax, which won the series, or the Block Blue Light Mega, which was a very close second, or the Rouge Panel. So, let me put it this way. If you're just purely focused on value, getting the best bang for your buck, happy to take some risks, happy to get a panel that doesn't have all the features, happy to order through China and deal with the Chinese uh, customer care teams and all of that jazz, then sure, go over to Alibaba. In fact, Go watch my videos on ordering through Alibaba because I'll give you a few pointers and heads up. Otherwise, if you want a panel that's still really good value, you know, you're gonna spend a little bit more, but you're dealing with a local company, you're getting faster shipping, you're getting a much better panel, and you're still getting something that's really good value, then yeah, look at the Platinum LED Biomax, look at the Block Blue Light, look at the Rouge. And if you're unsure which one to get out of those three particular panels, then I have done comparisons, I have done reviews, all of the links are down below. But before you go off and watch that, I need to show you something else. And before I show you that, I am gonna ask for a quick like or subscribe or both or a comment. You can do that down below. Now, what I wanna show you is over at my website, lighttherapyinsiders.com. Once you are over there, you can go to deals and then shopping tool. Now this may have changed. We're currently doing a big refresh on our website, but you'll find my shopping tool somewhere. Now, this particular tool shows all of the panels that I've tested and some panels that I haven't tested and we've included all sort of metrics in here, it's crazy. It's very, very powerful. The panels I was just referring to before are all wall panels, like you see behind me, typically 200 to say 300 LEDs. But there are some larger panels and even smaller panels. So what happens if you wanna look at one of these larger or smaller panels? What's the best valued panel there? Well, here's where my shopping tool helps. So once you're in here, you can apply a bunch of filters or um, sort by various categories. You can even see different data points. But the main ones we wanna look at is the value, uh, maybe total power and maybe price as well. So we'll get rid of shipping. We'll, you know, we'll leave LEDs for the sake of this video. We'll get rid of, you know what? We're gonna leave all of this data. So, what you can then do is you can sort it by tabletop panels, handheld, large wall, full body panels, or the wall panels like we just looked at. But let's leave everything open. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna simply sort by value, lowest to highest. Okay, so first up, we can actually see the ID Lighting Alibaba panel here, uh, which is coming in at $2.80. And that is because this calculation here does not account for shipping. Shipping for this was quite expensive. Uh, the prices I just shared with you before did include shipping, okay? So that's why some of the numbers might be off a little bit. Uh, next, we have the Royo Therapy, but the problem is that's an older panel, so it's no longer available. Uh, then you will see the Huga 300 at $6.20. Now you'll look in the LEDs column and you'll see that that's actually quite a small panel. There's only 60 LEDs, so it's quite a 
good value given that it's a small device. Uh, then you see the Biomax, which we just saw before, uh, and you can go all the way through and find a particular panel that suits all of your options. So maybe you wanna find the best panel from a value point of view, but it has 810. So you can come up here and take the 810 box. This will now only show panels that have 810 nanometer LEDs. Again, sort it by value. The Biomax comes in number one, followed by the block blue light panel. You can do a ton of cool stuff. So if we want to clear all of this and what we can do, so let's say we clear all of this and then we want to look at just the tabletop panels and we want to see the best value. Again, apply the filter, sort by value, Huga 300 is the best, followed by the best cure, followed by Huga, followed by Biomax. It's a very powerful tool and will allow you to find the best product for your needs. Now remember most of the products in this tool I have reviewed so you can click this little I button here and then click the YouTube review or you can go straight to the product you can see the discount code you can see a bit more information about each panel. It is very very powerful. So I hope you find that useful interesting. Remember though it's not all about money right. Uh, it is important you get something that works, it's easy to use, has a good warranty. So Yes, value is important, but I think it's still important to look at those other factors. And that's where my reviews and comparison videos should help. So check them all out. Of course, if you have any questions, leave them below. Otherwise, this video up here might be quite interesting for you. Highly recommend checking it out.